Hello, hello, blessings, everyone. So I'm just going to jump right on in. So in this world, it seems like the world is falling apart. But those of us that know Christ, we know that everything is falling right into place. So everybody on the planet, for the most part, knows about the Asbury um, revival that took place in Kentucky at Asbury College. Okay, so it is so interesting that as soon as that revival kind of slows down, the CDC comes out and they say, oh, we have a reported case of the measles. So we think that 20,000 people were exposed to the measles. Okay, I, I, I have to share this article with you guys. Okay, so let me, um, let me pull it up so that I can scroll so that I can scroll. Okay. Nearly 20,000 exposed to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nearly 20,000 exposed to measles at Asbury Revival event. Okay. So the CDC, the good old CDC, we know that they, those folks over there, they know what they're talking about. They knew what they were talking about when it came to the C word. They knew what they were talking about when it came to, should we wear a mask? Should we not wear a mask? So if, if, if I'm going to trust anybody, I'm going to trust the CDC. Okay. And the FDA and the USDA, but that's another video. So they come out with this article and they're like, okay, so we have as of February 24th, a case of measles identified in a unvaccinated Jessamine County resident. So here's my thing. Okay. Why did they have to let us know that this person was unjabbed? What do, what role does that play? Does the jabby jab prevent measles or did they just need to let us know that this unidentified person didn't have the jabby jab? Just, you know, just, just a question. So the revival went for 13 days and the CDC, I don't know at what point, uh, let's see. So there was around 20,000 people there that traveled from all around the country. It was a, you know, amazing revival. I just pray that the residual of the outpouring of the spirit continues to um, break out revivals everywhere. But back to this measles case. Okay, so this person, like I said, was not fully vaccinated and they had to, or I'm sorry, fully jabby jabbed. Uh, they have to quarantine for 21 days. So when I saw this article, of course, I wanted to bring it to you guys. And I started doing some research, just a little bit of digging. Uh, I didn't go down a huge rabbit hole, but I did just just did some stuff. So let me let me show you something really quick, okay? So let me go back up. Let me scroll. February 24th, and this would be 2023, right? Because the revival, okay, this article is March 6, 2023. And this says the CDC, the good old CDC said February 24th is when uh, the case was confirmed, okay? So why don't we go to the, mm, the CDC's website? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So as of February 28th, three measles cases have been reported in this jurisdiction, two jurisdictions. So of course, they're not, let me make this bigger. Of course, they're not going to tell us where, uh, which would be nice if I could click here and find out where. Um, so yeah, um, good old Rubiola. Three measles cases have been reported in two jurisdictions. So I don't know why measles. So let me say that. So however, however, why measles? I mean, <laughs> it could have been an outbreak of anything. Why measles? Why not the C? Why not the caffeine? Uh why measles you know so i haven't done a whole bunch of digging into measles um because this article just came across my desk and i was like oh okay let's talk about this but it could have been it could have been the caffeine you know it could have been the c word why measles so here is what i'm thinking 
because it was such a large gathering and because it was in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, something negative had to come out of it. Not only Christians and non-Christians saying that the revival was faked and that it was infiltrated and all of that. Uh, now you have the CDC saying, oh, all of those people together? Something we we have to, you know, like they say, they don't let a crisis go to waste and they don't let an event go to waste to keep on planting their their evil seeds. So now the next revival, they're going to be like, well, you have to limit it because in in Kentucky, there was a measles outbreak. So or measles outbreak, rubiola outbreak. So now you can't have a revival with 20,000 people. Oh, no, because rubiola may break out or the C word may break out. So you have to limit how many people can come to the revival. Let me tell y'all something. They will not stop God's plans. I know it is a lot going on right now. It's a whole lot going on. And it's like, Jesus... Uh, are you you know you don't start doubting god's word but you're just like i i read the bible i know what it says and i know that we win we are winning now and we win in the end but it's just so much going on where evil um just seems to be winning and kind of you know it's like a it's like a race and we have good versus evil we have christ versus um the 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 world or satan and sometimes it seems like we're winning on Christ's side and then it sometimes seems like okay is Satan getting like a, a little bit of a heads up on us no he's not he is not they can't stop what God is doing if God wants to have a revival with eight point billion people or not eight point but eight billion people there will be a revival with eight billion people so we don't we don't worry about that you know it's like revival is going to continue to break out rubiola is not going to stop anybody from having revival and CDC can kick rocks because we know that their track record of giving successful information is really scarred and I don't trust any of them trust the most high trust in Jesus trust what he says and his word and do not trust do not trust these people so that's all I wanted to bring um, is the fact that, you know, just be on the lookout for revivals that are going to continue to break out and just pay attention to if the government or CDC steps in and tries to limit the number of people that are actually uh, a part of the revival because of this measles outbreak. Be blessed. Love you guys with all the love of Christ. Bye.